Hey folks, it's Big Bear 77 back at you with a real quick video and we're talking Smackdown Live on the 27th of September 2016 and it comes to you live from Cleveland, Ohio. That's right. Well, let's get right into it, right? We have Orton and Wyatt feud is going to continue on and I'm actually excited about this one. Well, anyways, you have Orton to come out. You, he kind of calls out Wyatt. Wyatt says, you got so much time to find me. And uh, so the search began. It goes throughout the whole building also, over and over and over. And it was kind of a cool, creepy little search. It was, uh, you know, it was a good way to set up October, seeing how October is a creepy month anyways. Hmm. But anyways, it was, a, it was a cool little thing. Uh, uh, in the end, Wyatt's laughing because he said, Orton, when I find him, he did not find him. Oh, boy. And... And you see, you see, uh, you see the sheep mask or lamb mask or whatever behind him. And you're like, oh boy, he's got his crew there. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Because guess what? It was Randy Orton. Well, and then Randy sits down in the chair and, um, at the end. And this feud is going to be good. Um, may steal the show if they actually play it right. Anyways, next up we have some uh, tag teams in action trying to show off the tag team division. You have the new Usos, and I call them the new Usos because they're not the old Usos. They don't wear the face paint. It's gone. They're not so colorful no more. It's gone. Teaming with the Ascension. Well, uh, if you didn't think the Usos were heel or try turning heel, which they've already full turned heel, uh, that just proves it right there. They're with the Ascension. Anyways, the Usos in the Ascension took on Slater and Rhino teaming with American Alpha. Who doesn't like that team? Anyways, it was a very good match. I thought it showcased both sides. Uh, the new Usos got the victory for the Ascension. Um, again with that, taking out the leg. I mean, this is a different Uso team. I kind of like what they were wearing. They were, they were kind of cool last night uh, as heels. Uh, but it's weird seeing the Usos as heels. It is. It just is. Next up, we had a women's showcase throughout the night. We had first off the tag team match of Carmella and Natty. Natalia taking on Nikki and Naomi. I like Naomi's interest. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's colorful and the Usos don't have color no more, and she does. But, anyways, Carmella gets the win over Nikki. Um. I don't know what they're doing with this feud that they're building, but she gets the win over Nikki. It wasn't that exciting of a women's match. It actually took a step back, in my opinion, but hey. Next up, we have Becky Lynch coming down to the ring, and she gets attacked. Uh, it's like we've seen this before. I mean, didn't Nikki and Carmella go through this for a while? Uh, trying to build the women's division, and I think they're doing a poor job of it. I don't know. Just my opinion. That's my opinion. You got yours, I got mine. Anyways, next up, we are in Cleveland, Ohio, like I said, and guess who's from Cleveland? Yes, LeBron James. I can't stand the dude, but he's from, he's the basketball star of Cleveland. He's the, he's the, he's the savior of Cleveland. But there's another one that came from Cleveland. The Miz. Can't stand him either. So for one night, LeBron James, you weren't the most annoying person in Cleveland, Ohio, because the Miz was there. Anyways, he's having a homecoming. Oh, blah, blah, blah. They put a picture over the over the over LeBron James's uh, face. I like that fact, but hey, it goes on and um, he gets in the ring and here comes Dolph Ziggler. Oh, here we go. Guess what? A match has been announced for no mercy. Dolph Ziggler will put his career on the line against the Miz's Intercontinental Championship. So here's the deal. If Ziggler loses, he has to leave the WWE. Can't go to NXT, cannot go to Raw, cannot stay on SmackDown. He's got to leave. But if he wins, we're looking at a new Intercontinental Champion. This could be good. Don't know where I'm going now with that one. Last but not least, we had Dean Ambrose versus AJ Styles for the heavyweight title. And guess who was a commentary? Yes, you had to guess it. The 15-time world champion, John Cena. John Cena inserts himself in the match. Uh, he gets hit by uh, Dean Ambrose. Uh, AJ Styles gets the win. 
Dean Ambrose uh, then Cena gets in there and destroys both and uh, holds the title over AJ Styles and uh, said that the 16 time world champion is here. Uh, that's right. At No Mercy, John Cena can become the 16 time world champion. Now, who else has done that? Let's guess. Come on, guess. Guess. That's right. Ric Flair. He could tie Ric Flair's record of 16 time world champion. That should be something interesting. Anyways, that's all I have for the night. Yeah. Three, I think there was like three matches. That's it. Uh, they didn't really do no build. Uh, they did some build, I guess, towards No Mercy. But um, I guess they just didn't want to humiliate, continue to humiliate Raw. But even with three matches, they still beat Raw for the week. <laughs> uh, let's, not, let's all be honest. Come on, guys. Be honest. SmackDown, since the brand split. Before the brand split, Raw was dominating. SmackDown sucked. But since the brand split... SmackDown's been dominating, and Raw sucks. Go figure. Anyways, I'm going to get on out of here. Got some videos to do tomorrow. Catch you all later. Peace.